Hello and welcome to the Posting Helpful Hints video tutorial for EasyLaw. The purpose of this video tutorial is to cover the common features in the posting programs that help in navigation and data entry. At any time, you can also access the Help, Support Center, or Knowledge Base to assist you in posting in EasyLaw. A Need Assistance option will also take you to the Help for the specific menu you are running. Technical support and training are also available by contacting ESI Software. Contact information is available at EasyLaw.com. Use Enter, Tab, or the mouse to navigate through fields. The more you stay on the keyboard, the faster your data entry will be. Press F5 to display a list of clients, general ledger accounts, or codes. These lists normally display in alphabetic order, but clicking on the bold headers can change the sort options within these lists. You can also click the down arrow to the right of a field to display a list. Quick Fill Codes is an option that lets users automatically insert frequently used text in transaction descriptions. Quick Fill Codes can be entered in the posting menus next to the description or memo fields by clicking on the Quick Fill button and following the instructions on the screen, or clicking on the lists followed by Quick Fill Codes. Simply enter a Quick Fill Code followed by the spacebar and the text is automatically displayed. Quick fill codes can also be added, edited, or deleted through the list menu. Quick fill codes are user specific, so each user can create their own list of codes. Pressing Enter in the date field will default to the current date of your computer. If you have to enter a specific date, you normally only have to enter the month and the day but not the year as the year will display automatically based on the year of your computer dates entered 30 days within the current date will display a warning message dates entered outside of the current month or current year of easy law will also display a warning message you can enter transactions in a prior year but a password is required and must first be entered in the System Settings menu. Please note, you can only post to one month at a time as EasyLaw is date sensitive. The majority of the posting menus have a Save and a Post option. Transactions can be saved and then edited and deleted through the Unposted Transactions tab before being posted to EasyLaw. Previously posted transactions can be reversed and in the case of work in progress, edited or transferred. Often you can save transactions and then return to a posting menu to post them later. You can also have more than one menu open in EasyLaw at a time. The multitasking window is located in the bottom left of the main EasyLaw screen. Right click on a menu item to add it to the toolbar. This saves you time finding frequently used menu items. Once menu items are on the toolbar, right click on them to remove them. Toolbars are user specific so each user can create their own toolbar based on how they use EasyLaw. When you are posting trust checks or general checks, you have the option at the bottom of the screen to access the payee addresses. This allows you to add, edit, or delete new payees as well as make changes to existing addresses. You can also make these changes on the fly right in the check program by accepting a payee that already exists, clicking the address field, and changing that address. If you have a payee that does not have an address, 
you simply click in the address field and it will allow you to create an address. If you wish to delete a payee that exists but that payee does not have an address, add in a dummy address. This will allow you to access the payee under payee addresses and delete that payee from your system. As well, when you are posting transactions into the system, if a button is highlighted, for example, if I'm entering in a trust check and I come down to save, you'll note that the save button is highlighted. You can click, as I often reference in all of the video tutorials, but you can also press the enter key. Using the enter key keeps you on the keyboard and makes data entry faster. Make sure as well that when you are reversing transactions that you are watching the dates that you use for your reversals. I have a rule that I do not reverse transactions into a period for which I have reconciled or paid taxes. This ensures that you do not make errors on previously reconciled bank accounts or tax remittances. If you have errors in the system that you need to reverse, it is also important to use the same program to fix errors. If you make a mistake in general receipts, correct that error in receipts. Do not try and use billing or write-off to correct that mistake as it may not update your general ledger accounts correctly and your system may go out of balance. Thank you for watching the Posting Helpful Hints video tutorial.